Welcome to uh, Lawrence and Foster. It's a company that I formed in 1994. These are some of the styles which we actually make in house. And one of them is obviously is a traditional flat cap, uh, which is we call it a garfus. Which we make is uh, making sure everything matches on the front and on the back, because as I say, it's just the quality that we uh, manufacture. A lot of the styles that we've named is because it's, it, it's local to Castleford, where we've got names as Weatherby, York, Emsley's, all the different types of styles which we use, which is uh, names locally. This one is what we call a, te a tagcaster, it's like a, a, a molten, sorry, which we use is a, a, like a deer stalker with, with flaps on. The Garforth is the most popular style that, that we make here. This is a typical one now. It's, it's obviously it's a Harris tweed with a with a check in, and this is a Garforth pattern. Which we, this is the body which we've got to match. That's the the bevel, and obviously we need the peaks. So I'm now going to mark this in making sure everything matches. <laughs> well, the cloth we're using now is roughly what, what we did when I were a boy when I first joined this industry. Some of the cloths are still repeating themselves, which I remember because I started as an apprentice cutter when I was a young boy. So some of those uh, cloths now are still what, we, what we're making headwear from uh, today. Some are faced, as it happens. This is just an ordinary, ordinary material. But as I say, it, it is a tweed. <coughs> Again, I'm matching. I'm making sure all the components match. <coughs> it's uh, as I say. I've got two daughters here and a son-in-law. One daughter's on the sales and one's admin who helps ha actually into the factory and helps to dispatch and send it all out to the customers. Um, my youngest daughter, she's uh, on the sales side. My son-in-law who, who works for us, he's on the sales side. I've got, uh, my wife looks after the children now. My two daughters only work part time because obviously the uh, their children, the, the two each, who both go to school. So it is a, a, a quite a, a family concern. <coughs> I've, I've been in this industry all my life since I left school at 15, and basically, uh, biggest part of it, I was what a company called Montague Burton's when I first left school. Learned all the. Uh, all to do with uh, suits, jackets, trousers, overcoats, and then uh, over the years, I've, I worked at Burberry's for many years, and then I decided uh, because we all top management kept getting made redundant, and I was always one of them, so I decided, well, I'll open, I'll open up on my own. So that's what I decided to do in 1994, and then uh, because of the. I've been quite lucky with the experience that I've gained over the years with raincoats, skirts, kilts, uh, riding, riding trousers, waistcoats. As I say, I've been quite lucky over the years to be able to uh, get that much experience in. <coughs> it was a gamble, basically, because uh, of my age, I mean now I'm 69 now, I seem as though I've been in this trade 900 years, but uh, <laughs> uh, I think I should have done it when I was a younger, rather than wait while I'd, I got to my age, but it's, it, it's the pressure, because 
you've been made redundant that many times that you decided, well, wait a minute, I might as well work for myself. And luckily that I've got a great workforce here who'd been making headwear for uh, most of their lives. So uh, that's when I decided to open up <coughs> and make uh, headwear. But th that's the components now. Is that, that's the body, we'll finish up the body. That's what we call a bevel, which actually is sewn onto, that, on, onto there. That matches. And then these are what the, we call the peak. Some people put cardboard in there, but we use plastic. It goes inside there, which makes it nice and firm on, uh, on the head. And it'll bend, it doesn't break, where some of them will break. Val's going to, is, is making the outer now. He's attaching the bevel onto the body, which ensures that it's, it's all got to be matched. She's now matched the bevel to the body. Now she's just obviously checking to see if it matches. Now she's going to sew the sides, what we call the sides, so that we get the correct size, what the customer requires. This is where the skill comes in with the operator because then she, she uses that as a guide on to the seams. We have a marker on the, on the machine which obviously that helps it to have a, a, as a guide because obviously the mater material, sometimes it shrinks, sometimes it stretches. So this is where the, the skill of the operator comes into place. Again, ensuring that everything matches. Cloths vary from cashmere, different types of tweeds, there's lamb's wool, worsteds, all the quality materials that we, we use. Not only ourselves, the customers as well, who want to, to be made under their own label. So now that's the, the outer completed. So, uh, The next operation is then from there is we press the cap. We always press all the seams flat, flat open. A day we roughly do about, well, let's say 300 a day in units wise. 75% is flat caps and 25% is ladies. It's a traditional thing, is flat caps in this country. But we do, we do for Spain, we do for Japan. They like to buy them because, again, it's the quality that they're looking for. The next operation now is that we're, we, we're twinning it. Maz is making sure that the correct cotton's used to match. I would say we're about 50-50, which 50% is Lawrence and Foster labelling them, and the rest are uh, all to do with the cust different customers who want their own labelling or have their own, some of them have, have their own style and uh, if somebody wants half a dozen, they have half a dozen. If they want 50, they have 50. So we're not doing bulk, and all we do is actually make two orders. So the next operation after twinning, we're now attaching the peak. She's actually put, put in this, attaching the peak now. She's also put the strip on, which, which it makes it firmness down the back of the, uh, on the cap, making sure that the, the peak actually matches, which is already being cut to match. She's now ma making sure, again, because of the quality that we have to check at certain state or each operation that we've got the correct sizes. So Gail now is just is making sure that the size is correct. So the next operation is what we call finishing off. So the, the linings are pre-made. And that's the lining now. What's attached to the outers. 
this is a blocking operation. The blocks are made out of wood which we attach in. That is like to help to stretch the cap and steam it. It's, it puts into the into the uh, what we call the blocker, which we leave that in for about maybe 10 seconds, 15, while we prepare the other the other cap, and it goes in just to steam it. The next operation from that then is that we, it goes and we hand sew it. Some companies actually fuse it, or what we call gluing. They glue the, the peak, but it's a cheaper way of doing it because we're on the quality side, it's hand stitching. Just over 13 and a half minutes actually to make one cap on its own but obviously because it's broken down into different operations uh, we, how we make it so someone makes a lining somebody makes the outer somebody makes the peaks and then everything's all uh, married together and then obviously it's blocked at the end and then uh, it's ready obviously to go out to the to the customer and people still want made in England <laughs>